I saw what you guys had to say to me on the last video. I misspelled VSC and you guys made fun of me. I just want to clarify things. I was a little bit sick that time, so I didn't really care about the title of the video. And also that was not the reason why I made a 46 seconds video as opposed to a 30 minute video about a 2.2 news. Although that kind of put a smile on my face for that day, I think if I would have just felt a little better on that day, I would have made it a little bit longer, talked about more stuff. But yeah, it just appears to be so. So let's let's just jump into today, what is going on today, and let's see. Well, firstly, it's a very bad news of the day. There is no 2.2 news. I know that's a little bit unfortunate, but this is this is the way. This is the way we're going to live. So I do have a bunch of things like today. I don't like there is absolutely zero news. However, I do have a bunch of questions from you guys that I do want to clarify. And I just went to the Discord chat and asked you guys about some, you know, some of these cool questions that you guys have for me about 2.2, you know, about the results of how, you know, Geometry 2.2 is going to change the game, about what I think about a bunch of things, what certain features are and stuff like that. So I think it would be kind of, I'm, I'm just going to stay on this menu because I think it looks pretty cool. And yeah, let me just start off. Actually, I might have to switch to Discord. Oh my God, what is going on? The first question, when do you think 2.2 is going to come out? I'm going to give you a very optimistic answer. I don't want to, you know, be wrong if it doesn't come out, but I'm just going to put it out there. I think Christmas is what he's been aiming for. I don't know if that would even make any sense or not, but this is like the most optimistic release date I could just come up with at this point. Yes, I think it's going to be released on Christmas. I don't know what this one means. Make a video where you beat Clubstep with no commentary. You, you guys may also just join my epic streams on twitch.tv slash xcreatorgold. We do very cool stuff there. And here we have one of the most interesting questions, I think, so far. And it's what will paths be? And in case you guys have no idea what the heck he is talking about, I'm just going to show you real quick what paths are. Where is it? Come on. Ah, there it is. So in Geonti Dash World, if you like download it on the Google Play on your phone, you're going to see this menu where you can't access any of these buttons, but you have like this new paths thingy. And so this is new, this is new, this is new, this is new, this is new. And also the Hall of Fame has been taken out because Robtop didn't really like that. <laughs> I, I totally agree with that. The epic levels today are kind of weird gameplay type of stuff. But yeah, versus is... <laughs> <laughs> but you can pretty much just bring back the Hall of Fame instead of Versus at this point, really. Yeah, Versus is delayed. The map is platformer levels made by the community, which you'll have, in order to access it, you have to beat the four levels that Robtop made, a four platformer levels, and then you can access the map. The event is, uh, we don't really know much about it. I mean, we know that it's a level, but we don't know when that level is, how... Like, it's just like the weekly and daily. There are basically levels every now and then, but we don't know, like, the time span between every single level, and we don't know what really is events about. We only know that it's a level, basically. And we have the lists. We do have a lot of information about lists, and it's so awesome. I really like this feature. I've talked about this in a lot of my videos, so I don't really think we should recap that. And then we have the paths. The paths is probably one of the less known thing in Geometry Dash 2.2 that we know about because, believe it or not, th this button was added after like every single leak that came. Because versus we already know what this, what it is, and then the map we already got a, some pictures from it, and this one we go, already got some you know sneak peeks from uh, the trailer, and also Robtop has talked about it. And the event, we only know about that because Robtop has uploaded the Geometry Dash files to Google Play back in 2022. And after that, he added this paths thingy, which is why we don't know nothing about it. However, people may say that it has something to do with the shards. And while that is kind of interesting to think about, I don't really think it's going to have anything to do with the shards because the shards are like, how can you add like a whole button in here just to do something i mean the shards are already completed you know there's nothing to add on the shards i think this is already enough but so what i can speculate from this is if we don't look at this logo and rather take a look at the name paths maybe this is a guide to guide you on how the story might continue because as you guys know 
We have freed the monster last time and I've made like a whole video about why the story is really interesting in Geometry Dash and how it's going to continue in 2.2 and so maybe this is like a sort of your blueprint that you're going to, your plan to, you know, save the world of Geometry Dash or whatever that's supposed to be and it could basically guide you on what to do in order to unlock the map or in order to do X and Y and Z, stuff like that but... Uh, Really, there is nothing 100% sure. However, I can see that every button in here it has a lot of stuff behind it. Especially this one. This create button has so much behind it. This one is also really useful. This one has a whole leaderboard system. This one is also really cool. This one is so huge, huge, big, big, big. And everything is so... so I can't imagine why paths wouldn't be as big as, you know, any other buttons. Otherwise, it would not be here in the first place. So, yeah. Maybe I'm wrong. At the end of the day, it's just... Just some random stuff or something, I don't really know. I'm just speculating at the end of the day, and if you guys like my speculations with the provided evidence, that would be pretty cool. And you can also comment your stuff on the description, on the... You guys know what I'm saying. We always discuss in the comment section, so... Do you think this message will be shown in the video? Uh, perhaps? Actually, wait, yeah, it is in the video, wait, what? I just got distracted by this guy. Will you work for Roughtop even if I give it an opportunity to work? type of job at it. I like this question. I mean, we're gonna have to see because Robtop said that he is gonna, you know, hire people to work with him after 2.2 and he said that it's gonna take him a lot of time to do so. I think this is probably one of the most important things to do for a game like Geometry Dash. However, I don't think it's that easy to get a developer like Robtop with the way he handles the whole game. I think it's going to be quite difficult because usually when you hire people to do a game, it usually gets ruined and changed a lot. And we don't want that to happen to Geometry Dash. I mean, Geometry Dash, like the last update was in 2017. And let's just imagine that in 2017, Robtop hired like five people to work on the game. And after seven years, we are now going to get the update. It would completely not feel like Geometry Dash but because Robtop, because Rob Top himself has been working on it, it still feels like Geometry Dash, which is why I'm really, really happy that he hasn't hired anybody yet. However, some tiny, like, assistance from here and there would be kind of cool. But yeah, we're gonna have to see. We're just gonna wait after 2.2 and see what's gonna happen. What future of 2 are you most excited for? That's an interesting question, because usually I, I like to say that it's the versus mode because I'm really excited for that or like it could be very cool to compete against your friends but apparently it's delayed. So, I mean, what is the biggest feature in the update you guys you pretty much have to ask? It's pretty much the platform mode. I think platform mode is gonna... There's so much stuff you can do with platform mode, bro. It's like a completely different game. I don't think people realize. It's gonna have to wait until the update comes out and then like the things I have in mind, they just can't be described and even if they were describable will there be a z critical challenge challenge channel yes there will be i mean there is already yeah i don't get it like there is a channel called z critical and i upload there a lot daily in fact but yeah i think even if i was able to describe what's in my mind about how crazy we're gonna get with the platform mode i don't think that's gonna be enough because I think so many things are just beyond our imagination. We're not going to understand how far we can take this game mode until we get our hands on it. So all we can do is just wait and then we're going to truly realize why this update has been worth the wait. And yeah, let's see more. My favorite color is probably black and some of you guys may come out as nerds and say, well, but black isn't a color. I, I want to say that black is a color and if you don't get along with that, then make sure to slap that like button because black, you can see it's a color literally. Robtop said this is the color picker and you can pick black. So black is a color. <laughs> That's it. Yeah, black is a pretty cool color. However, why don't I have just this set really? Yeah, because you gotta choose two colors and two colors is probably gonna be this one because this, it's just too cool. And this guy just misspelled color. <laughs> what, what are you doing, Mr. Ali Potato? Mr. Potato PC just misspelled color. What I like about Geometry Dash, I, I think the only thing, actually there are two things. Firstly, the, 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 the game editor is just so awesome and so limitless so far. And yeah, it's awesome. And also playing things like just beating Bloodbath on stream. Just playing some levels is just so fascinating to me. It's just so, so much fun, you know? 
you get to challenge yourself to do new stuff every time and yeah it's always awesome to push your boundaries beyond your imaginations because i never ever would have thought that i would have been able to do bloodbath bro that was like an impossible demon 2015 but yeah i did it on stream which is mind-blowing right i still can't can't fathom that this was my first extreme i still cannot fathom that i have been bloodbath bro unbelievable when do you think 2.2 released on uh, Christmas? So what am I released on the 22nd? I don't think this is even interesting anymore. Releasing something on the 22nd, it's just not interesting. It's just, like, <laughs> if there is a, if, if Robtop could release the update at any day, I don't think he's gonna pick the 22nd. It just sounds so unreal. Like, we've had so many people saying it's gonna come out on the 22nd of October, on the 20, 22nd of February 2022, you know, all twos and stuff. Or February 2020 to 22nd, you know. Then we have November 22nd, and then we have December 22nd. I don't think that's gonna happen. It's just too unreal, you know. Do you think 2.2 will be laggy on mobile when it comes out? I think, uh, well, if you really want to answer the question as it is, then indeed it's gonna be laggy. Because there are levels that just have a billion objects, and there are levels that are like this one that don't have a lot of objects. So it really depends on what you're saying here and what levels you really mean. But in general, I think the game is going to be way better than... It's going to function way better and it's going to be way more optimized because I've heard a lot about the game being better in 2.2. For example, like the moving triggers, the moving objects, I mean, is going to be way better than it is right now in 2.1. So overall... The game is going to be less laggy. However, I can't say that the game itself is not going to be laggy because, wow, that's a cool icon in the... This looks really... I don't know why, but this looks like a very high quality icon in the background. You guys see that? Wow, this looks really cool. Why is this not epic, Mr. Rub Rub? But yeah, you can't really say... I mean, there are levels that literally have like hundreds of millions of objects, I think. And yeah. On these levels, like, even if you have the best NASA computer, they're gonna still lag. So, yeah, overall, the game is just gonna run better. And I just don't, I, I, I don't want to die. I just want to complete this now because... Bro, what? You gotta be... What? What? Nah, bro. I thought I was gonna get the free four stars while, you know, making a 2.2 news video. That would be pretty cool. But you just killed me at 97, bro. You gotta... Bro, why do people always do that at the end of like there was a, I couldn't even see like an orb or something. I don't even know, bro. Do you think 2.2 will affect rating requirements? Uh definitely. I think not for the first few months, perhaps, because people will still, you know, get used to the features and also a bunch of 2.1 levels will still get rated every now and then. And yeah, overall I think they're gonna be way higher because people are gonna just there are going to be so many people, and so there are going to be so many good levels, and so many levels in general that the best ones are going to be picked, and the best ones are going to be the ones that determine how high the standards are, and yeah, seeing how many really creative creators we have right now is just, yeah, it just goes to show, it's going to be absolutely mind-blowing. I don't think it's going to be as easy to get a rated level in 2.2 as it is in 2.1. So, yeah, we're just gonna have to see. I mean, in the first few days, maybe if you use some 2.2 features, I don't even know. Do you think there will be more bugs? Robtop himself has said that 2.2 is gonna be the buggiest update ever. So, I'm just gonna take his word for it. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I can't imagine what. I can't even. I'm not even surprised why it has been delayed for two months, bro. Like, I, every time I think about it, I get mad, but then I realize, like, it's obvious, you know? I found that XYZ creator goal next. Okay, we're having a full conversation here on the... On the this, is, this feels like a stream at this point. <laughs> I just got 97 on the level. I'm just answering a bunch of questions. Okay, it's going, it's going well, though, I'm going to say. <clears throat> Will you make a video about you beating Tidal Wave? Maybe an auto version, perhaps. This is... I actually like this. This is like a suggestion as to what the new paths is. He said that it's a new way to earn shards, orbs, and keys. Because I do think for, in order to open the 100 key chests, you're going to have way more ways to get keys. Otherwise, it would be nearly impossible to open these chests. 
And also with the shards, I always struggled with the shards. I don't know, like the gauntlets were the best thing to get shards, but once you're over with them, you, there is really no way to get them except for, you know, the weekly and maybe some stuff in here and the treasure room and stuff like that. But that's a kind of good way to look at it, like maybe earning collectibles from that tab. That would be interesting. And yeah, I think this is it for this video. Make sure to slap that subscribe if you want to. I'm not really forcing y'all if you want to slap it right now, gamers. And I love you all still. I hope you are not distracted by my epic voice today. <coughs> I'm trying my best. I will see you guys in the next... Okay, this is not my real voice. I'm this was just all like an act, okay? I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye. <laughs>